Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to create a dynamic chart, a simple dynamic chart using the offset and match function. And I'm going to use the data here, which is a quarterly results for, for every department. And in this area is the data validation for every department. You can choose whatever department that you like to display in the chart. And then the next thing is to uh, first work on the chart title to be referred on the title of the chart itself. So to make that, just use uh, a word for that, which is a quarterly results for and quotation, then um, join it with an ampersand here, put some space, connect it again with an ampersand to be able to connect the department here. And that's it, enter, so that when you choose a department, for example, that will be changed. So the next thing is to uh, create a chart. Now for the creation of the chart, I'll just choose the department one here. Just for the creation, I'll go to um, the home tab here, no, in the insert chart here, and then I'll just make some data labels for that. You can design your chart on your own if you like. Then I wanted to have uh, varying colors for that. That's it, vary colors by point, and then I'll just use a simple template for that. You can use uh, any template that you like, or you can design on your own. Then the next thing is to uh, make this chart uh, title dynamic, and then I'm going to press equal sign for that, which is reflected here, and then I'm going to refer it to the chart title here and enter. That's it. Whenever you choose again a department, that will be changed. Now, the next thing is uh, to make this chart changeable as well. If this department 2, we wanted to move it in here. So, Control z Now, uh, we're going to write the offset and match function here. I'm going to write it here. Then, after I finish the formula, I'm going to go to formulas here and then uh, put it in a name manager. So, uh, we're going to write the offset. The, so, the argument will be like this, the offset. And then, my reference is basically any reference reference cell within your worksheet. I'm going to refer it here, which is uh, the cell before the quarter and the department. Then comma, uh, the rows will be any rows you would like to start. It's either uh, zero, which is on the cell, or one on the cell, negative one on the upper. So I'm going to start with quarter one, which is one. And then for the column, wanted to make it dynamic by referring to the chosen department here. So I'm going to use the match for that. Then the lookup value will be this part. And then the lookup array will be on the source, which is the department here. And then comma, I wanted to have the exact match, which is zero. So whatever the column position of the department, that will be returned on the column for the offset. Then for the height, I wanted to include all of it, which is equal to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to put 4 for that, and for the width, I wanted to stay it in one column, so I'm going to put 1. I'm going to close it. I'm going to lock all of it. I don't want it to be relative. I'm going to put it in a name manager and enter. That's it. I'm going to write the formula here for reference, formula text, and then this is the reference. That's the formula that we've created. So I'm going to copy this one, Control c and then I'm going to go to the formulas here. And then I'm going to define the name here. So the name will be defined. So I'm going to name it as department chart, depth chart here without the space. And then I'm going to paste it here, paste it here, the offset and match. And then I'm going to click OK. And that's it. Uh, that's now included in the name manager. So the next thing is to add it in the chart here. I'm going to right-click the chart and select data. Now, after you select the data, you're going to edit this part, this department one here. And then in the series name, I'm going to remove the name here, but you can put any name if you want. And then I'm going to remove other parts here except for the name of the sheet, which is sheet one. And then I'm going to call the name that we have defined, which is the department share. And that's it. I'm going to click OK now. So that's it. And another OK. So basically, that's it. It's now changeable when you choose a department. For example, department one, this is the, the result. And this is the chart representation for that, including the title. When you choose department two, 
that is also okay, 3, and uh, 4. And that's it. That's a simple dynamic chart using the offset and match function. So I'm finished here. I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel. And see you next time, and thanks.